Thirteen things everyone should stop doing by the time they are thirty. When we are in our early twenties, we feel young and we think that we have time to do whatever we want to do. However, as we approach thirty, we begin to feel differently. Now we know who we are and what we intend to do with the rest of our lives. As you get older, you pick up some good habits and skills to develop yourself. However, you should also drop a few things if you want to be successful. In this video, I'll share with you 13 things everyone should stop doing by the time they're 30. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. One, you should stop putting all your money in one place. Unlike when you started your career in your 20s, now you're probably making more money than you were making back then. But what are you doing with it? Keeping all your money in one place, a savings account, for instance, isn't a wise decision. Make your money work for you by diversifying your investment portfolio and actively putting it towards your retirement funds. Two, stop depending on others financially. As long as you are an able-bodied and able-minded adult, you should be responsible for taking care of yourself and not depend on others to finance you. This doesn't mean that. You can't run to family members and friends when emergency strikes and you need help. It only means that your primary source of income should be as a result of your hard work. Three, living for the moment. At this stage of your life, if you haven't started thinking big and making long-term goals, now is also a good time to do that. Don't make excuses that it's too late to do that and then take the opportunity to live for the moment. Instead. Get to work. Four, staying in a bad relationship. You've probably made bad relationship choices in the past because you were so concerned with what people would say if you left too early. You remain in the relationship, forbearing and tolerating it. Now that you're older, however, remaining in a bad relationship for too long will not only ruin your health but also cause depression. Five, not taking calculated risks. To become successful, you have to be willing to step out of your comfort zone and take calculated risks. Helen Keller, an American author, political activist, and lecturer, once said, and I quote: "Life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all." Also, according to Iveta Sherneva, only those who play win. Only those who risk win. History favors risk takers. Forgets the timid. Everything else is commentary. As you grow older, the truth is that your quest for success increases, and the way to achieve this is to take calculated risks. Six, giving excuses for your bad behavior. Unlike when you were much younger and you didn't have control over your reaction to certain situations, it is expected as you grow older you should learn how to respond to situations, not react to them. Also, in situations where you do not act responsibly, admit your mistakes and don't give excuses for your actions. Grow up. Immaturity is no longer a viable excuse for bad behavior. Also, successful people know that they are responsible for their lives, no matter their starting point, weaknesses, and past failures. So they take responsibility for their actions and everything that happens in their lives. Seven. Trying to control everyone. And everything, you can't possibly control everything in your life. For instance, in a situation of a delayed flight, how do you control that? Become the pilot and fly the plane? Of course not. And no matter how impatient you are, you'll have to choose. But you have no choice but to wait patiently because you are not capable of controlling the situation. Here's the thing: you can't control everything around you. But you can control how you react to things, which is what is expected of you as you grow old and approach thirty. Eight, hanging out with negative people. Jim Rohn, an American entrepreneur, author, and motivational speaker, said, and I quote: "You become like the five people you spend the most time with. Choose carefully." Also, according to Mark Ambrose, "Show me your friends, and I'll show you your future." Hanging out with negative or toxic people will only make you feel bad about yourself and keep you from achieving your goals. Nine, not having an emergency fund account. 
It is expected that you should have gotten an emergency account in your 20s. But if you haven't, you should consider getting one because an emergency account, as the name sounds, is something that you can fall back on easily in the case of an emergency. Experts advise keeping at least three to six months expenses in a high interest savings account. 10. Not paying attention to your health. No matter how successful you have become or how successful you want to become, if you don't pay attention to your health needs, you'll end up spending your time, energy, and money trying to fix it. As you grow old, your body becomes weak as well. Hence the need to focus on your health, from eating healthy, exercising regularly, distressing, sleeping well, and going for regular checkups to partying and drinking less. Ensure that you take care of yourself. 11. Living on social media and comparing yourself to others. People who spend most of their time on social media end up comparing themselves with others. They begin to see others as better than them, and if possible, they start imitating these people. And you know what they say about self-doubt and comparison? It steals one's personality. Shannon L. Alder said, Personality begins where comparison leaves off. Be unique. Be memorable. Be confident. Be proud. 12. Showing up late every time. Time is valuable, and every successful person knows that. Alan Lekin once said that time equals life. Therefore, waste your time and waste your life. Or master your time and master your life. As you grow old, you should learn to keep to time. If you have to, set multiple alarms, ditch makeups, and the likes. But don't keep people waiting all the time. If you don't value your time, they value theirs, and you need to respect that. 13. Keeping grudges. A misunderstanding between two parties isn't unusual. Keeping grudges, however, is unhealthy. It can hurt both your emotional and physical health. When you forgive, you feel peaceful, calm, and even healthy. And when you feel this way, you're likely going to achieve your goals and become successful. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.